the prosthetic head is an embodied conversational agent. Uh, you ask it a question and it responds. So if we ask the head, for example, uh, what is art? Sometimes the definition of art depends on the artist. Other times it depends on the critic. The head in a way is only as intelligent as the person who's interrogating it. Uh, but uh, the interaction is designed so that uh, the prosthetic head coupled to a human head is capable of interesting uh, exchanges of, of conversation. It has a database, real-time lip syncing, so when you ask it a question it scans its database in real time, finds an appropriate answer and then lip syncs the response. So there's nothing sort of pre-programmed in a sense in this work. Well, even the face is really my skin texture mapped over a 3000 polygon mesh and this was all kind of hand modelled uh, so it wasn't done by scanning my face. Uh, the re so the result is somewhat uh, resembling the artist but not quite and it is a kind of digital portrait of the artist but it's left somewhat ambiguous in its schizoid personality. So sometimes it'll assert its star art, other times it'll assert it's an automaton. What's interesting is when the head says unexpected things. So the more and more the database has uh, extended in size, the less and less the artist can predict uh, what the head will say. So if we tell the head that it's dumb and stupid, for example. I will remember you said that when robots take over the world. <laughs>